welcome back to another holiday special review and this one is a weird one and I don't know if it's in like anyone's nostalgia barrel I had never heard of it before I did not intentionally seek it out it came up in the recommended videos after I did that like 1948 version of Rudolph and the title was just so weird to where I was like I have to see what this is I just do. <laughs> so it's a special from 1970, uh, which should tell you something about things, but it is called Santa and the Three Bears. I'm sure you're making the same assumption I did. The, the little blurb about it on Tubi was so vague to where I, I really had no idea going in what exactly this was. So I'm sure your assumption the same as mine, is that it's going to be like a, t a Christmas take on Goldilocks and the Three Bears. We'd all be wrong, because it has nothing to do with Goldilocks and the Three Bears, there just happens to be three bears in it, and no, it's not a mama, a papa, and a baby, it's a mama and two babies. So, single mom for the win. Anyway, <laughs> uh, it starts out as a live-action thing, with an old man sitting in an armchair by a warm fire, and there's two kids that I assume are his grandkids that want to hear a Christmas bedtime story. So he promises that he's going to tell them one that they have never heard before, that literally no one on Earth has ever heard before, because it is a brand new Christmas story. And you know what? I think he's right. Literally no one has ever told this story. <laughs> <laughs> so then it cuts into animation for the rest of the special, and it looks like it was made on a shoestring budget. The audio definitely tells me it was made on a shoestring budget. Uh, it sounds like you're listening through a tin can, but I digress. Th there's a weird charm about that, not gonna lie. But, you know, I feel like, actually, if they were to restore the audio on this, it wouldn't be the worst thing I've ever watched, <laughs> like, straight up. Um, basically, I feel like it takes a lot of inspiration from Yogi Bear. And I don't know if Yogi Bear came first or not. Maybe Yogi Bear was inspired by this, I don't know. But I mean, it has a park ranger and some bears in Yellowstone Park, which, if it were Yogi, it would be Jellystone Park. Um, the style of the ranger reminds me very much of that one Disney short that has the park ranger and the bears. So I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of tropes going on all at once here. Um, the mama bear, whose name is Nana for some unknown reason, I am pretty sure she's voiced by the chick who did Wilma Flintstone. Like, I am 99% positive. I didn't check it on IMDb because I did not care that much. This was a, I woke up at 3 a.m. 3 a.m. and there's literally nothing to do at 3 a.m. So let, let's just watch weird shit and review it kind of thing. And by the time it was done, it was like, okay, that was a thing. And really didn't give it enough thought to go check if that was, in fact, the voice of Wilma, but pretty sure it was. Pretty sure it was. And if so, boy, how the mighty have fallen to go straight from the Flintstones to Santa and the Three Bears. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, and there's two little babies who are actually very cute. Drawn very, very cutely. I liked the animation style, I'm not gonna lie. Just the backgrounds look like they were drawn with a marker. <laughs> um, which isn't always the worst thing. Furthering my argument that this had to have made on, been made on a shoestring budget, there are so many, like, repeated animation cycles throughout the whole thing. Sometimes that's a subtlety that isn't real obvious, but in this it is glaringly fucking obvious that they keep reusing the same cycles just to like pad it out and not have as much work that they had to pay artists to draw which I mean you do you I get it animation is expensive and it takes a lot of work I get it but wow it is really really obvious from literally minutes into it they're already reusing shit and I'm like oh okay that it's gonna be like that all right but, um, basically, uh, the baby bears, one is named Chinook, and the other one, I think it was something like Nicoli or Nicole, Nicola, I don't know, it was something, it was something, like, close to that, but also off from it, and I also don't care enough to go double check what the other name was, I just remember Chinook and being like, oh, these should have been polar bears, but they're not, so okay, whatever, we're, 
We just got brown bears with polar bear names. Cool. Love it. Love that for them. But um, th they're going to go hibernate for the winter. Or at least that's the mama bear's plan. And she is whining moments into it about how she hopes her lumbago doesn't act up. What little kid knows that fucking word? I had to look up that word as a grown-ass adult. <laughs> Um, to be fair, I've heard it, like, one other place ever in my whole life, and it was in A Star is Born, and I didn't think to look up what it meant, and boy, it did not mean what I thought it meant, <laughs> given the context of that song, but I digress. Um, and the ranger is like, ah, oh, middle age catching up with you. I'm like, wow, rude, rude. <laughs> like, my god, like, who wrote this? But all she wants to do is hibernate. She just wants to go to bed. She is a single mom. She is tired. She is tired of these baby cubs bullshit, and she is tired in general. She just wants to sleep. I felt that. I felt that. I had so much freaking compassion for that mama bear. I was like, ah, my spirit animal. But anyway, um, but all these little cubs want to do is stay up and play as is pretty much the story of every little kid ever. And it's only made worse by the fact that the ranger is setting up for Christmas in his cabin and everything, and they catch wind of this, and they're like, ooh, what's he doing? Let's see what he's doing. Ooh, ooh, let's hear all about Christmas. And he tells them about Christmas, and now it's like, well, now we don't want to sleep ever, because we want to stay up until Santa comes. And the mama bear is basically like, bitch, what did you do? Obviously not in those words, but essentially this is like the vibe you get. And it's just like, did you lie to my babies? And like has her nose up in his face. And I'm like, oh, shit, there's about to be a bear mauling, but there's not. We could have like saved half the movie if there had been, but I don't think it'd be made for kids anymore if it had. <laughs> I'm a bad person, but again, 3 a.m., weird shit goes through your head. Anyway, um, there's several musical numbers in this too, which was surprising that for as low budget as it was, it seems like most of the budget went to those studio singers. I'm just like, oh, okay, like this straight up sounds like something out of Rankin Bass stuff, like... Actually, if it weren't for the shitty sound quality, this wouldn't be terrible. Like, it has potential for somebody, like, if they wanted to restore it, like, it has potential. Um, but anyway, so, now the ranger knows he's in deep shit, so, uh, he's like, well, that's cool, because I used to be a, a mall Santa, so I'll just dress up as Santa and bring him some gifts to a few ho-ho-ho's and be on my way, and they saw Santa, and then y'all can hibernate. Everybody wins, basically. And that is the plan, except that, oh, shit, film tropes, Christmas Eve and there's a blizzard, so bad that he can't make it to their cave. And then it takes a turn, where the mama bear's like, well, there is no Santa, I hate to break it to you, I hate to make you cry, but there's no Santa, it's like, whoa, holy shit, she like just threw it out there. She's like, yeah, that ranger's just gonna dress up like Santa just so you guys can have a nice Christmas, but there's no real Santa. I'm like, whoa, holy shit. You just spoiled it for every little kid watching this. How dare you? How dare you? Who made this? Whose ass do I have to go kick? But anyway, and she makes the little baby bears cry over it. I'm like, like, I'm so offended. Like, why? Why would you go there? This is so mean. Why? So they're, like, nodding off. They finally fall asleep. And you hear a ho-ho-ho in the cave. And it's implied that, oh, wait, it's the ranger. And then, oh, except that's not the ranger. Because you see magic dust as uh, the Santa Claus disappears after leaving stockings for the baby bears. You only ever see his silhouette, by the way. So it was real Santa. Yeah, see that bitch? You're wrong. He's real. Hmm. But anyway, I have a lot of feelings. I've had a lot of coffee. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the poor ranger has just been hiding out in a bus stop. Why there'd be a bus stop in the middle of, like, a park reserve, I don't know. But <laughs> apparently there's a fucking bus stop he's been hiding out in, waiting for the snowstorm to clear. And when it finally subsides, he goes to their cave and he does his thing in, like, the most unconvincing way ever. And he's just like, yeah, wake up, Santa's here. 
And the baby bears are like, yeah, Mr. Ranger, you were already here. You already did this. And he's like, no, I wasn't. He's like, Rabbit, but who brought those stockings? And they're like, wait, but that means <gasps> Santa's real. Because obviously they have to have a happy ending. It's made for kids. And at that point, you can hear real Santa. And he runs outside and he sees the real Santa flying away with his reindeer. Happy ending for everyone. But it's just like, was it really necessary to have the mom point fucking blank be like, there's no Santa kids. Park Ranger lied to you. It's like, dude, you made your babies cry on Christmas Eve. Shame on you. Shame on you, Nana Bear. Shame on you. Anyway, because of that part, I don't think that I would really want to see this special properly brought back. But on the other hand, <laughs> for kids that are really, like, no, that part, like, it is, like, weirdly cute in, like, a primitive animation kind of way, like, early 70s special kind of way. I mean, it's not the worst thing. I've seen so many worse ones. So many worse ones. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be reviewing even worse ones than that this year because I'm trying to go off the beaten path and go for ones that haven't been reviewed to death, but I'll also get some mainstream ones in too because otherwise nobody's ever gonna find these, but, um, yeah, I'm going for obscure this year because I don't know why. I just felt like it, but I don't know. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever seen, but at the same time, it was definitely, um, they didn't lie in the beginning. It is definitely a unique Christmas story nobody else has ever told before and will probably never tell again. Is it an idea that's never been done before? Hell no, but yeah, I don't know. It just, there's only so many ways you can spin these, like, to be honest, but I don't know. It was a valiant effort, especially for how low budget it looks like it was. It was a very valiant effort. I will give them credit that they did as well with it as they did for being as limited as it seems like they were. This could have been so much worse, so I'm actually surprised that it's not, but... yeah. <laughs> it's an interesting watch just as a piece of essentially not quite lost media, but more like forgotten media, if you want to see something that you've almost definitely never seen before, yeah, it's on Tubi right now, so go watch it, it's free. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it's a weird one, but at the same time, not a terrible one. It's kind of cute in a weird kind of way, other than him making the friggin' baby bears cry, how dare you? I'm still offended. Don't make the babies cry. Just don't. Anyway. So, <laughs> that's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. See ya.